Shunk Furniture of Marquette. A quiet day across Upper Michigan, but we started to see the clouds pick up the pace a little bit, and I think we're going to be stuck in the clouds as we go through the next couple of days, but temperatures are still going to remain on the mild side. Let's go to our local three radar network here, and you can see dry conditions across Upper Michigan, northern lower Michigan, and the north woods of Wisconsin. Anybody that does have travel plans or you know any loved ones or friends who are on the road tonight into northern Wisconsin, northern lower Michigan, and across the UP, no travel issues are expected other than maybe some spots could see some water refreeze on the roadways. Radar and satellite shows the cloud cover starting to move on in, and here's what's ahead. Mild temperatures are going to continue pretty much right through the end of the week. I will say, though, I am starting to grow a little bit more in confidence that I think towards the end of the weekend and into early next week, we will start to see typical winter like temperatures move back in not the deep freeze but where we should be this time of year as we go into late December rain chances start tomorrow albeit small and they continue on into Wednesday and Thursday and where temperatures drop below freezing at night we could see an icy mix develop in spots like freezing rain watching the weekend for Saturday and Sunday and here's why it's something to keep an eye on here's us right now look at all the mild air across the central plains northern plains and upper midwest and into the great lakes and the mild Temperatures are going to continue. We do start to get, like I said, some rain showers tomorrow, maybe on into Wednesday. And then as we head into Wednesday night and on into Thursday, you can see the rain showers starting to pick up the pace. This could start off as freezing rain Thursday morning, but I think we head to all rain during the day on Thursday. And this could end also with a little bit of snow. Here's what to keep an eye on, though. We're going to watch the storm system by the weekend come out of the Central Plains and head towards us. And this model, the Global Forecasting Model, the GFS model, really does paint in some snow into our area and into the north woods of Wisconsin, but it's something to keep an eye on. Here comes a lot of snow. Maybe here's where we're at right now. We're still four to five days out, so the snowstorm could either hit us or miss us, so it's something to keep an eye on. Stay tuned for weather updates and just be aware of misinformation, including social media and how you can get good weather information, weather anytime on our WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com and also on Facebook. And don't forget, while you're on Facebook, join the 906 Weather Watchers page. 20s tonight, maybe around 30 or lower 30s near the Great Lakes. Tomorrow you can see a mainly cloudy day, maybe a spotty rain shower and also potentially some fog. Highs tomorrow in the 30s and then for Christmas Day itself, we're looking at temperatures that will be in the 30s. Could have some spotty rain and maybe in the morning a light icy mix. As we look at the wind gust forecast, just want to show you this map quick to show you. We could have some gusty winds as we go into tonight, especially Marquette westward out of the southeast that could gust over 20 miles per hour. So there's the next seven days, 30s, Tuesday and Wednesday, and we'll have a slight rain chance for Tuesday, and we could have some fog or maybe some freezing fog Tuesday night on into Wednesday morning. Late freezing rain goes to light rain on Christmas Day. High temperatures in the 30s, 30s and 40s for Thursday. Freezing rain to rain could end as a little bit of snow. And then Friday, I think, is a dry day. And then for Saturday, some snow showers, but those are the days, Saturday and Sunday. We're going to have to keep an eye on right now. We'll play the chances down just a little bit. Some snow showers on Saturday and then a slight snow chance on Sunday, but forecast changes will be likely to Saturday and Sunday. So stay tuned for weather updates. You can always get your latest weather forecasts on our website at upmatters.com. Okay, so I guess we'll have to wait and see.